I spent about an hour on the phone with Terry and his, his wife, and Terry has decided to retire and step away. And, you know, it's tough because there's so much I, I want to say and there's so much I, I, I think about and I go through all this, and it's, you know, it's 13 years. And um, I guess in, in, in opening, what, what I want to do is, A, explain to you why it's me telling you this and not Terry. And, you know, we wanted to do a, a retirement show, and he just felt it would be too much, that it would be too much emotionally, that it, it, it would just be too taxing. And um, I told him, all right, I'll, I'll handle it. And, um, you know, I hope I do it justice today. This is uh, – it's tough. And, um, you know, there are a couple of things in talking with Terry – and his wife today that, you know, they wanted to communicate. And if, if you haven't read his blog that is up on valenianfoster.com, um, I, I do think it'll shed some light on, on some of the things I, I'm going to bring up. And some of it is definitely better left to him and his words. Um, but when he came back and fought his ass off to get back, you know, he had, he had said it. He goes, I want to do the show. And I, I, I don't want to be treated different. I want to do the show. And um, as Terry has said, you know, he's not, he's not the same guy. And Terry felt pretty strong. If he couldn't do the show like the way we've done it and tried to deliver for you guys for 13 years, then he didn't want to do it. And, um, you know, he's decided to step away. And, you know, I got a lot of thoughts that go through my mind and just, I guess I want you guys to understand one thing that it's not like we talk about it every day, but I want you guys to understand how hard the guy tried. And I guess, you know, it's tough and I want to, I want to compose myself here, but it took, it, it really took its toll on him. And he'll tell you that. His wife would tell you that. You know, he'd go home at night and he was done. You know, it's a grind. You know, he tried. We tried. You know, I think we do have the best team in radio. And all of us together tried. And, um, look, he worked his ass off. But he's already feeling better being away from it for a week. He's always at peace with it. And, um, you know, this was the time. And this was the decision. And, you know, I look back at it and, I mean, I can throw the number to you guys and I'm going to talk for a little bit. But if you guys have something you'd like to say, I mean, Terry did tell me he would be listening. So even though he can't be here to deliver it to you, um, you can bet he's listening. So if you have something that you'd like to say, you are welcome to. Um, you know, I look back, it's, it's, this is all we've known. It's all I've known. I mean, I was 23 when I started working with him. I was nowhere near ready. I wasn't ready for the big city. I wasn't mentally prepared for it. I, I didn't understand what I had gotten into. And he was my partner. And we went through a lot. We did a lot. And together we had some amazing success. And in that sense, you know, yeah, there were days it was a party. There were days we wanted to kill each other. Um whether it was in a show meeting before, during, or after the show, but it worked. Our dysfunctionality is, is why it worked, because we were two totally different people. And uh, I'll be always grateful, because he kind of pinned his hopes on a 23-year-old kid, and I think Terry was part of the reason I was accepted here. You know, Terry is Detroit. Not to steal a line from Hatchet, but Terry is Detroit. And Terry is the guy that everybody pretty much likes. And it worked for that reason. You know, and I, I hope, and I know it's Terry's sincere hope and, and, and from talking to him today, you know, that we gave you guys the moments and that he gave you the moments that, you know, you remember and, and you had a good time. And Look, our show wasn't like other shows. I know, you know, Terry and I had a different way of doing it, which generally was, you know, combative, sarcastic, and oftentimes hilarious. Um, but... In the absence of being able to do it that way, he didn't want to do it. And I understand it. I respect the hell out of it. And, 
you know, I know him and his wife are at peace with it, and they're happy, and that's what counts. Now, I, I understand what a lot of people are going to do and ask, and, and look, I'll just be up front with you. Um, you know, future of the show and all that stuff. Look, I said it to Terry today, and I, I said it to management today. Um, you know, his chair is going to stay empty for a while. And I don't even want to think about anything, honestly. I, I, I need to figure out what exactly am I going to be without him, you know, and where does our show go? You know, wh what does our show become without him? And that's his chair. And we'll figure it out. And at some point down the line, we'll process and, and go from there. But as it stands here and now, now's not the time for it. Um, I won't answer questions about it, and I just gave you the answer. Um, so I, I, what I want to do, and I know what Terry would like, uh, is if you want to call up, you want to say something, and, and as I said, you can presume he is listening because he told me he would, and you better not have lied to me if you're sitting at home right now. Um, you can call in and basically, look, I don't care. If you want to share memories of the show, if you want to just say you're, 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 farewell, your bye to tea, or or just share a thought, that's fine. There's really no other way for us to go today. There's really nothing else that's relevant. You know, that this this has been one of the more successful programs uh, in this city for a long time. And that show, those 13 years, that's done. I can't recreate it. I can't deliver that for you. I can do something different, but I can't replace him. And again, it's like the reason it worked is because we ran all the extremes. You know, again, like all the all the segments you guys hear that you probably have running through your mind right now. You know, segments where it was unbelievable laughter and, you know, falling out of your seat and then unbelievable like, oh, my God, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to kill each other. That's why it worked. So that's kind of where it's headed. But I definitely want to look back, and as it works out, I have tomorrow off, and I'm going to take some time and think about things, and, you know, I'll spend probably the next few weeks really looking back because this is, from just my perspective, this has been my whole life. This has been my entire professional life, sans a couple years in Lansing, Michigan. And today is a, a today's one of those days, not going to lie to you. And I'm happy for him, and I'm happy for Abs. And in speaking to them, it was comforting to know that they're at peace. They're happy. He's feeling better. I, I do encourage you to read his blog. Terry put his heart into that thing. And I think there's some illuminating stuff in there. And it sheds a light on just kind of what we as a show and what Terry had been going through. So that's kind of where we're at. And... You know, if you guys have thoughts, you're welcome to give them. You have opinions, you know, I, I would encourage you to uh, behave. And we'll kind of go from there and kind of just process it together because it warrants that much. And do I wish he was here doing this show with me today to, to say goodbye? Of course I do. But it was too much. Too much emotionally. And he didn't feel comfortable doing it. And you know what? I get it. Because I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's not emotional for me. And yes, I do have feelings. I know some of you don't believe that. But yes, it's a hard day. You put 13 years in with someone, for better and for worse. I feel for him. I feel for his family. He worked his ass off to try to come back. And it just, he had that part of him taken away. And that's what's so very sad about it. So... Let me throw the number out. Mikey, if you have the ticket text, I'm sure we have a bunch coming through. Uh, and again, his blog that he wrote to you, the listener, and, and, and everyone in general, you can get at uh, valenianfoster.com. And um, I don't know. It's hard. It's, it's, it's hard. So that's just where it is. Mikey, how do you want to handle this? You want to go to the phones? 
Do you want to go to the ticket tax? What's the best way to, to move forward here? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we can start out with the phones, and I'll uh, right. I'll bring in some text right now. All right. Just understand, guys. He wanted to be here, but he he just couldn't. And honestly, I think if he was here, we'd probably spend most of the time tearing up. You know, I saw him, and, you know, we had a goodbye in person. And that was emotional. It was an emotional conversation today between me, him, and his wife. And um, it's one of those days. I'm kind of searching for the words. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. So let's get some of the people. You know, you guys are what makes makes this show. It's what made the last 13 years so special for him and for for me and our families. And you know, it's it's on you guys to uh, kind of tell me where you want to go with today. But I don't think Tiger baseball is the appropriate direction. Let's go to Craig, 97.1. Hi, Craig. Hey, Mike. Uh, yeah, this is Craig from Lake Orion. Um, I just got to say, um, I've listened for a couple of decades. I don't call in a lot. But uh, Terry Foster has been an amazing uh, contributor to Detroit sports. And uh, just want to uh, share my um, thoughts to him and his family that um, we're thinking of him, we love him, and we appreciate what he's done for us. So thank you. No, thank you. That's fantastic. He promised he's listening. He promised me he'd be listening. So I'm going to expect that message got delivered. Give me some of the ticket text coming in. Um, message to Mike and Terry and the crew. Godspeed, T. I enjoyed having you back on the air the time you decided to stay. Take care of yourself. Enjoy life to the fullest. You deserve it. You'll be missed. Dave in Farmington Hills. Uh, I've been listening to your show daily for seven years. You both did an outstanding job providing listeners with entertainment, anger, indeed, and a distraction from the everyday grind. Sad to see T leave, but happy for the next chapter in his life. Keep up the great work, Mike. I'll still be listening. Uh, wow, guys, I'm sorry to hear, but I am glad for Terry. I hope his body and mind heals. Family is important. Uh, you are a part of his family forever, Adam and Novi. I, and it's it's something, you know, I always said it to Terry, and I remember all the time, you know, he would always bust my chops, like, oh, you, you know, every summer would come by, and it's, oh, you're going back to Saratoga. And, you know, Christmas, he's like, you know, how come your parents don't come here? And I'm like, because oh, I, I go home. You know, it's just like, Family first always. That was always my phrase. Family first always. And, you know, and that's what T's doing now. And I could hear it in his voice today, and I know his wife was telling me several differences in his, in his, his physical and, and, and mental psyche and, and just hit how much better he is taking the time away and being away from doing this. I, I, I can't stress it enough. I know that we don't dig ditches, okay? But I'm telling you the toll it takes on him. He he got really, it really wore him. You know, I barely keep it together. And God willing, I, I haven't had to deal with anything like he's dealt with. By the end of the days, he was exhausted. And without this in his life, he feels better. And that's a key. I mean, you know, we've joked around before, but I mean, before you're a radio host, before you're anything professionally, you're a dad, you're a husband, you're someone's son, you're someone's brother. He's got bigger things to do. He's got a daughter that can go to any school in America, and they're helping her through that process as we speak. He's got big things. And if it means he feels better, then that's the deal. Let's go over to Big Vern. If memory serves me correct, Big, big Vern has been here damn near since the beginning. Hi, Vernon. Yes, sir. I have uh, I've been li- listening faithfully for 11 years, and uh, you know I usually don't get attached to media types and all that type of stuff. But there's something different about this station, um, especially you know you know how I feel about the the two to six spot. Um, I got I mean you guys were an anchor in my day, and uh, you know Terry Foster. You know, like I told him before, I called him one time because I remember seeing him at 12 Oaks, just saying, "What's up, then? What's up?" to him because he was with his daughter and uh you know uh he was just talking to her just you know they were just interacting just you know on a regular father daughter level but to see him 
in that light, you know, especially your family is always important to me. It just seems like him and his daughter were just having that relationship like, you know, that's my dad. We're just talking, walking through the mall. And uh, T. Foss not only was, you know, he's just a good guy, but he was a professional. He had great takes. Um, you know, you two were, uh, you know, it just works. Like I said, for 11 years of my life, I just listened to the show. T. Foss was just uh you know, uh, just a great guy, man. It, it's it, I totally was not ready for this. You know, just hearing him back was was excellent. Knowing what what he was facing, but uh, knowing that he's going to uh, handle business concerning his family and his future is far more greater. But it's a sad day, brother. I feel for you, and uh, you know, prayers to you, the station, and his family uh, for success. And uh, T. Foss will be missed a lot and uh yeah that's all i got man. all right Vern. i'm sure we'll talk soon thanks Vern. yeah all right two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven get with the people i'm sure sully's got a few of the classics uh lined up some of the drops some of the good times um but yeah again if you're just tuning in um you know we wanted to do a retirement show but it just wasn't going to be in the cards it was too, too emotional too tough for t and um that's why I'm delivering it, not him. Believe me, I wish he was the one to give you his words and his message. Um, we'll get more of your thoughts. We'll do it next. 97 won the ticket.